Hi guys and welcome back. Right, so this week we are going to be doing a figured maple bowl. Now this blank is nine inches by about three and a half inches. And um, I also picked up some spirit stains, some of the chestnut spirit stains, um, and some rags to put it on with. And I don't quite know how I'm going to do it yet, whether I'm just going to do the inside with some colours or the outside or all of it or just a band um, until it's turned up, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to run with this one. It's the first time I've used the Spirit Stains, so there's going to be some uh, playing around with it. Um, this is a quilted piece of maple, like figured maple, and um, so I'm hoping that the stain really brings out that sort of figured effect running through the wood. Um, what we'll do is we'll get it on the lathe and we'll uh, see what we come up with. Also, what I'm really excited to use is the Airshield Pro. Um, I've wanted to get one of these for a little while and I managed to pick one up. And I wasn't happy with the base mask I had. And this is all built in filters, battery powered, lasts for about eight hours. Um, so yeah, really excited to use that. So I'll be using that in this video. Um, and as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but I have already started to rip the shop out. Um, I wanted to get his start on it before January. So the shop's in turmoil at the moment. There's stuff sort of all over the place. I've had to clear out one side so I can get that fitted out to then move the stuff back into it to then do the other side. So, yeah, because I haven't got any other storage space, so that's the way it's going to have to be. Anyway, less of that, let's get on with the bow. Now, guys, this has got a... Uh bit of black on it at the bottom um, I'm currently at the moment I'm making up my own like ebonizing solution um, and I was just trying it out on this bit of maple because um, I know that maple doesn't have a lot of tannins in it and um, I wanted to see what it come up like um, so I just tested it on the bottom of the bowl blank before I turned it away um, and sort of just rubbed it off again but yeah so I'm in the process of making some of that up um, I will be doing a video on the ebonizing solution at some point, um, but I just want to try and get it right myself first. A year ago when we were young, running from our things at once. Without thinking twice And I knew we would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm, This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out yeah, From the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time
Right, guys, so I've now got the shape that I want. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it back probably to, I don't know, um, 240. And then I'm going to start applying the um, spirit stains. And um, I am going to do probably the whole of the outside of the bowl on this one. And there is some ingrain here that I've got to try and tidy up. But yeah, it's got a nice little uh, sported line running through it there, which is nice. But yeah, right, anyway, let's carry on. Right, so before I go any further, I'm just going to check that this foot is um, nice and square. And it is. Just want to make sure before I start putting any um, stains on. Because I don't want to be having to do any more cutting on the outside of the bowl once the stains are on. So, right, now is the big decision. I've only sanded up to 180. Um, I don't really want to close the fibres up too much. Um, there was quite a bit of sort of end grain around here that I've managed to sand back. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. Right, so let's see what colours we've got then. Now, I quite. I don't know whether I want to use. More than three. I want to probably use about three colours. Um, now I have red. If you mix it with the white, you get more of a pastely effect. Um, but I might go with purple, royal blue, and green on this one. So. We've got the purple, the royal blue, and the green. Um, now I've got to decide on sort of which way I'm going to run it up to the top. So I might start with purple, go to blue, and then to green. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll start at the very bottom, around the foot, coming up purple, switch it to blue, and then come into green at the top. Right, so we are ready. Gloves on, got me rag, and we're going to start with the purple. So again, we just start by applying the uh, purple. And blue next. So we'll start on the blue. And then we want the green up near the top. Oh, <coughs> and that's why I wear gloves. <laughs> I would be in a right mess otherwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes, like it says. Um, and then I'm going to give it a light rub back and then go over with the second coat and what I'm going to try and do is bring the purple further out the blue a bit further up and then so sort of start blending them a bit more um, just giving them a sand back in between each coat um, but yeah we'll see what happens right so that's been 10 minutes um, what we'll do now is just give it a quick, really light sort of sand back, and uh, we'll go for the second coat.
All right, so we're going to apply a second coat now. So again, what I'm going to do, give it another 10 minutes, give it a, another quick light rub down, and then apply a third coat. Um, now you can see here on some of where the tear out was, it hasn't really picked that up. So what I might do is I might apply the next coat with a brush just to sort of get in them, get in them sort of imperfections and see if I can get them sort of covered up. Right guys, so what I've done, um, and only reason I've done it off camera is because I didn't actually push the button. Um, is I've got a couple of these brushes and where the tear out was what I've done is put a bit of, put the end of the brush in the die and I've just gone round and sort of dabbed it on all of the um, pieces that were not getting picked up um, as I went through with a rag um, so now what I'll do is I'll give that the extra 10 minutes just to absorb right in and I am going to give it its final another final coat well not another final coat but the final coat once I've just lightly rubbed it back once it's dry um, and then that should give me a better blend um, because I won't have to go back over but yeah I'm, I'm liking the look of it so far um, right so that's been me 10 minutes um, well, just over 10 minutes. What I'm going to do now, I've got a bit of 400 grit here. I'm just going to run that over it really lightly. Um, what I am going to try and do is get this glue to come up into the green a little bit more so the green's not so blocky at the top.
so guys there we are another week's project complete and the bowls turned out pretty nice actually I'm happy with it and the staining itself probably do have a little bit of practice on it but yeah I really like the effects it gives and I hope you guys can pick it up I have got two lights out at the moment in the shop why I'm uh, upgrading so to speak so we've gone from green to blue to purple and then I run a sort of orange over the top to give it that sort of try and give it that sort of like older effect and um, or whatever but yeah it's turned out pretty nice pretty happy with it and the maple inside I've left clear um, which I think has turned out really nice and I only sanded that back to 240 and then went in with the Yorkshire grit um, so yeah but yeah you get sort of I don't know whether you guys can pick that up but the quilt effect in there is lovely and it catches in the light it's really really nice really nice bolt really fun project as well if you haven't tried the spirit stains out I'd really recommend giving them a go they are fantastic so guys if you like the video and you haven't seen me before please hit that subscribe button and um, really does mean a lot and I really do appreciate it and um, thank you very much to the subscribers that have come over to my channel in the last week and to my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning I really 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 do appreciate it guys um, my channel is growing fantastically um, and I am now nearly 1500 subscribers so thank you very much guys um i didn't think i'd be anywhere near that by christmas so you guys are awesome thank you very very much so that's it for this week guys i will see you all again next week stay till the end and i will put some stills up just so you can have a better better look at the bowl thanks for watching guys see you again next week